I don't actually know why I hated Ningguan so much. He's actually not that bad. I used to hate her, bruv. Okay, welcome back to the channel. And today we have Ningguan. Finally, I've gotten through Yanfei already. I've gone for Chong Yun already. I've obviously done Ayaka. Finally doing Ningguan. Uh, if you want to see the rest of the builds, there's going to be a pop-up right here in the top right corner. Take you into a playlist. But today, Ningguan, I don't know why I hated her so much. If you saw my last two videos on Yanfei and Chongyun, I kept going on about how I was dreading doing the Ningguan build because I hated her. And I don't know why. Now that I've played with her for a few days, she's not as bad as I initially thought. I, I'll, I'll tell you guys at the end of the video why I uh, hated her. I'll go into more depth about it then. But for right now, let's get into the build. Okay, let me show you my build first and foremost. Uh, today, I have... Manning Guan at level 69. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Alright, jokes aside, she's 1600 attack with 20% crit rate and 100% crit damage. The crit 20% really needs to be higher. Uh, that's because of my weapon. My weapon is usually different. I'm just testing stuff out. 150% energy recharge and 73% geo damage bonus. I am running her under the coattail. Sometimes I do run her on the solo pearl. I don't, I'm still unsure which one I prefer and I have her on a two-piece archaic with a two-piece gladiators at c6 with talents being 667 so that's my build now quickly usually I'd go like into what you need for your build but first I need to go over talents talents is what I need to go over and explain the skills because that's kind of important for her which is actually the reason why I didn't really like her at first it was a little confusing to understand but now that I've got experience in the game I kind of understand it so First and foremost, your normal attack. So obviously she's a catalyst user, so she's gonna do uh, like projectiles of geo damage. But each time you use one of her normal attacks, you will get one star jade. It's basically similar to Yanfei when she uses her normal attack, you get three little stamps and then you charge attack. That's the same thing with Ningguan. You wanna normal attack three times, get three star jades, and then charge attack. Now, here's another thing that is wrong with her, right? Now, I don't know if this is a bug or what. It's been in the game for a while like since the start of the game and it still hasn't been fixed but if i go here and i just normal attack you can see it is a little slow right not the quickest of attacks but what you do is you hold your double w key or any directional key and then keep clicking and you can see it's way faster i don't know why this is the case i feel like this is the speed it should be automatically but it's not so this is one thing you need to take into account you have to Hold a directional key in order to be doing the faster attacks then her elemental skill the jade screen it's all right it's not the best it blocks opponents projectiles and it is based on ningwa's max hp how long it will last but it also has another effect where once you've used it it will obviously do damage once it's cast but if you go through it as you can see she uh, now has up arrows and like geo energy flowing around her this now basically boosts her attacks so anytime you use her elemental skill, you want to walk through it to gain a boost in your attack. That's also another thing that you have to remember. So first, obviously normal attacks, you want to do three and then charge. Now with your elemental skill, you want to put it up, walk through it, and then, you know, start attacking. And then last but not least, a burst is pretty simple. It basically just does a lot of damage. But once you have her at C6, you basically, those stages that I talked about earlier with the normal attacks, you get seven of those now whenever you use your burst so whenever you use your burst you then also want to remember use a charge attack so that you do even more damage so those are things you need to take into account when you are using her it's a lot to remember which is maybe why i didn't like her as much but she was a little confusing to me back then when i started playing this game and got her i was like yeah this is a bit too much for me let me just use the luke who is just like pew 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 e e e u like that how to use her it's kind of important with her because uh, yeah, she gets a lot of damage boost depending on how you play her. But enough of that. Let's get into what you guys need for your builds. So starting off with the weapons. Obviously, obviously, any of the five stars are best in slot for her. Um, we're talking Skyward Atlas. We're talking Lost Prayers. Any of them, they're all the best in slot. 100%. Anything that's going to boost your attack and stuff like that. Secondly, if we're going to go for four stars, you want to go for something that's going to, again, boost your attack. Such as Dodo Tails or something. Or if you need a crit rate, go with the Solar Pearl. Crit damage, go with the Wood Sith or the Frost Bearer one. I forget what it's called. Or even the one that is in the shop every other month, the Black Cliff one. If you need crit damage. Again, another four star that is decent for attack is the Eye of Perception. 
but like i said if you want to get an attack sub stat i would preferably go for dodgeco tails dodgeco tails is also free to play so there's that a lot of us should have got it from the last event and you should have got it to r5 so it also helps with uh dealing more damage every time you use your normal attack and then your charge attack and then your normal attack like that which is actually how you play her which is why dodgeco tails is really good that's actually why i've been using it on her rather than the solar pearl even though i need the crit rate as for four stars you obviously have the twin nef right for the crit rate if you need that and i'll be honest i think this is probably the only real viable option because the other ones is hp elemental mastery and elemental mastery so yeah twin nef right is basically the only early game weapon that you can pretty much get away with doing decent damage with and it actually increases your movement and attack speed by 20 percent which she actually needs because you saw how slow her normal attacks are so yeah twin nef right if you're early game as for rfx there is pretty much three ways to play her so the first way is a four piece Okay, Petra, obviously you get the two piece effect of 15% geo damage and then the four piece gives you uh, more damage bonus depending on crystallization reactions. So four piece is really good on her. The next way to do her is two piece archaic with a two piece gladiators, which is exactly what I'm doing. So this way you get the 15% geo damage with an attack boost of 18%. And the third and final way is a two piece archaic Petra once again for the geo damage bonus. And instead of gladiators, you would want to go for two piece noblesse for elemental burst 20% increase. It's as simple as that. Those three are pretty much your most viable options. And as for the stats of your artifacts, you want to obviously go, obviously, you're going to have HP and attack. Then you want to go attack percentage on your sands geo damage on your goblet and then crit rate or crit damage depending on what you need on your circlet as for substats again it's similar to any other main dps or burst dps crit rate crit damage as much of all of that as you can don't care about elemental mastery because you can't do reactions with her energy recharge might be all right because you want to get the burst up constellations they are very good they don't they don't they're not necessary at all i think c6 is her best one c1 basically lets your normal attack do aoe c2 makes it so whenever your elemental skill the jade screen is broken it will automatically reset the cooldown of it so you don't have to wait to get another one up c3 and c5 obviously increase your talents up c4 basically increases any party members that are near your elemental uh, skill the jade screen their elemental resistance is increased by 10 percent so they'll take less damage basically and c6 makes it so like i said earlier whenever you use your burst you will gain seven jade stars which you can then charge shot and deal even more damage on top of your burst as for talents like i said we already went over them i would say depending on how you want to use her is what decides which one is going to be upgraded first if you want to make her burst dps obviously make her burst a priority you want to make her a main dps which she can kind of do then obviously upgrade her normal attack first so if you want a main dps you want to go normal attack then elemental skill then burst if you want to burst dps you want to go backwards burst elemental skill then normal attack then we move on to the team comps now any other builds you always hear me say elemental reactions elemental reactions problem is ningguan is obviously geo so she can't do elemental reactions other than crystallize which gives you a little shield you don't care about that you do preferably want to have a uh, geo character another geo character in the party so zhongli or albedo pretty much noel i don't really know about but zhongli and albedo definitely i know top tiff supports for her uh, and not to mention you increase your shield strength by 15 percent plus geo resistance on enemies is reduced by 20 percent as well so that's also great the other two party members you pretty much want to fill up with like s tier supports or sub dps's chincho amazing sub dps bennett amazing utility and still has sub dps capabilities uh someone like zhang ling amazing maybe even a beidou in there as well she could be also quite good basically just get one geo character i know that's a little difficult since there's literally only three other geo characters and two of them are five stars and then the other two party members just fill with a uh, sub dps's or other support uh characters who are good for utility like that is ningguan's build pretty straightforward uh like i said she's not the greatest don't get me wrong i do like her better than i did before like don't get me wrong do not get me wrong i've always liked the way she looks boy boy that is a bit of me right but i still don't feel like she's uh she's not s tier she's not even a tier she's b tier at most and that's mainly because of her burst and stuff however i've stopped slating her i do think she's all right so if you do have her try and invest in her i do feel like if i invested more in her i'm I, i'm not going to actually use her after this realistically i'll be totally honest which is why i didn't want to invest a lot of stuff into her same as with the other builds that i did earlier but yeah, I feel like if I did invest more in her, I definitely, definitely could get better damage outputs out of her. But that's it for the build.
if this helped you out smash the thumbs up and the bell notification i think i have one more build video coming out not sure when probably going to be bay doll and then after that i think it's going to be a yo mia pulling video so watch out for that so make sure you subscribe for that as well uh if there is anything that you guys think i should change let me know in the comments down below because i'm always ready to hear what you guys think and let me know uh what i should change make her better maybe i would actually use her then i don't know we'll see but until the next video guys i'll see you then take care peace